Hello, and welcome to the flower brush painting super session. I have my vermilion and alizarin mixed out. I'm mixing some ultramarine into this one, a little bit more purple side of things. I did a quick search for hibiscus, and this beautiful one came up. So I want to see if I can do it any sort of justice. I would watch a lot, a lot, and when I say a lot, a lot, of Henry Lee's painting tutorials in the Chinese brush painting, and hibiscus was one that I absolutely loved. This looks nothing like, I recall. I'm using the dagger brush. I'm going to feed some colors in. I'm working on the brush strokes and the flow. Oh, I don't like that, but that's fine. We'll work with it. Yeah, let's grab some more ultramarine in this mix. Throw that onto that turned shadow side. Everything's drying pretty quickly. I'm not liking that too much. Yeah, Hammy. This spot was wet and it was the first leaf I put in. Uh, petal. Let's grab light red oxide with the ultramarine. Try to get a little bit more purple. It has this long stamen that comes out and it creates these weird little almost alien looking ends. I don't remember these at all. Hand me a plane with a bag. You gotta be careful, bud. Yeah, let's grab some Payne's Gray right in here. It's a little too thick for that, but that's okay. It's all part of the learning process. Yeah. Hammy doesn't like the learning process. He says, I want to be able to paint good right away. I know, I'm telling everybody about you, Hammy. I know, I'm selling you out, bud. Okay, let me go let him out. Hammy doesn't like being called out like that, apparently. This brush is a great one-stop shop for flowers, though. It's just a matter of getting a hang of it. Could even feed a little bit of this lemon yellow into here. We can use that to brighten up, give some dimensionality to the leaves and the stamen, uh, the stalks. I will say this, that 
my shadows and lighting is definitely not correct here, but I'm just going for the illusion of the change, the light side and the dark side. And there's just the things that I'm learning about along the way that I know I'll have to fix in future ones. All right, let's dry this one off, see how it lightens up. Okay, a few thoughts and ideas. Um, I'm going to paint on top of this one again. I'm gonna grab some alizarin this time and we'll see how that looks over it. Whenever you, you see the artists that are painting flowers and they have the two brushes and they'll wet the area and then they'll feed in. I can understand now why they do that in Western watercolor. Um, and why there might be a lot of scrubbing and back and forth taking place. Ultramarine. Uh, adding on to that though, I will say That I think it'd be very easy to go through a lot of paper practicing these. And I usually am just such a huge advocate of quality paper, but I can imagine we're here having kind of cheaper practice paper would work. But this is a five by 10 give or take, a little bit larger than, uh, sorry, uh, five by seven, a little bit larger than that, that you would have how many, four, you would have 16 of these in a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper, large size, would be $4. So you're not really spending too much money and you can use backs of paintings for practice as well. Marine. Okay. We're just passing over our previous marks. Now I'm just getting loose dry brush around the edges. Eventually, I'll start developing a style and approach. Okay. I think we'll leave this one at that and I'll continue with these another day. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. Um, any color combinations, any type of plants you want me to explore. But like I said, I'm still in the, the extreme novice phase, just brushing the dust off with these. So I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.